started creating Welcome to the Hippodrome um, back last September and we started by gathering lots of research, um, getting books about the history of Bedminster um, and the local industries and um, obviously the Hippodrome which was on East Street in Bedminster. Joe, one of our participants, um, flew with, um, with interest and um, went off and managed to gather lots of other bits of um, research to show us. Girls Lies, Factory Lies, it's like the Bible of the whole thing. It was, um, I couldn't put it down, it was such a good book, so fascinating. But the bits about um, what life was like working in wheels um, really fascinated me the most. It's part of my family history as well that I was researching because both of my great grandparents worked for wheels. That bit really was the bit that I was stuck in my head the most. So I was thinking of like what it would have been like for them, for my grandmother working there. In a way, it was getting to know her in a sense and, and like what it would have been like for her, what she would have experienced. All my passions have been thrown together, really. Family history, passion for theatre, history of theatre. I also helped design the, um, the leaflet too, the um, actual Victorian board of design that it has was one that I came up with myself um, through using the backs of cigarette cards, the designs on those, and designs of um, Victorian flies and leaflets. The poem that I wrote, actually, um, was been acted out as part of the play. And it sounds so good as well, the way that Ingrid's excellently scripted it in. I couldn't believe that was so impeccably done. We looked at clips of film, of them making the cigarettes in the tobacco factory, um, and it kind of got a sense of the period, which is 1910 to sort of 1930, listening to the music of the time. The participants started creating scenes, devising scenes around the material. It was a very interesting start because we discussed the, the possible scenarios that we could have. We did some role play, we did some uh, exercises, some uh, drama workshops uh, and we came up with some, some, some rough ideas which Ingrid took away and worked on. And eventually it was all brought together with the team and a play was written by our wonderful director um, Ingrid and the play was born. So we then got our scripts and worked as a team in groups to uh, perfect our parts. The choir was then um, set the task of um, learning songs from the period to also put into the piece. There's also a group of young women who are part of our Forge programme who will also be performing alongside our adult performers, um, our pick and mix group. And the other members of Forge who weren't so keen on performing are also working with professional set designers and technicians to create the backdrop and the costumes um, and um, will be operating the light and sound during the show. The highlight was the magical way that the, set, the, set, the whole thing came together. Brilliant, um, where everything it just seemed to gel. And for me, working as a team with everybody and eventually putting together a wonderful show, which I hope that the public will enjoy.